Well, hello everybody, and welcome again to Expediting with Big D. I'm here north of Gettysburg, and I want you guys to get an idea of what it's like. We had a, uh, in our group, Transportation Life Wheels, Wings and Rudders, one of the guys bundled up in a, basically like a blanket or something, talking about, hey, if you like to uh, expedite, go out and get in a box right now and freeze and, uh, you know, get an idea of what it's like. Well, there's a lot of truth to that, I mean, to be honest, because here we are, I'm at a Petro, and I talked about this once before, uh, getting out here, and this is what you're going to deal with, and if you look over here, you can see in that corner up there, you can see that white on the ground, that's snow. The snow's pretty well gone, but it's still cold here. In fact, over there, you'll see a big pile of it there by that car. So yeah, it snowed up here, it's cold. You're going to have to deal with the cold out here and in the hot the summer. Now, you know, we do have luxuries in this van. I have my microwave, my refrigerator, my new hanging bunk is right there. I did put a heater in, which um, makes life so much better. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. The heater is godsend, and you can do that for about 200 bucks. A lot of these things you can do yourself to make your uh, life out here a lot better. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Your life on the road. Because no one really talks about what it's really like out here. They just talk about, hey, you're going to make all this money. Well, you might and you might not. But as you can see there, refrigerator, microwave, a bag for clothes and showers right there. Uh, that's a dash cam. You definitely need that. Above that is an easy pass. Uh, GPS iPad, some of the things you're probably going to need. Now, here's the van, of course. And here's the semi-parking area over here, but there you go, big pile of snow. Let's go into the back of the van. Got to throw out some trash yet. <laughs> Is there a trash can? Right there? there we go. But uh, the reason I'm showing you this is because life out here is not always easy. And you're going to find that to be true. It's difficult. Life out here is difficult, and uh, it's not easy. So, in fact, there's homeless people out here. So, uh, to get you an idea, let me get you in the back of the van. I'm packed back here by the church area, kind of the parking lot. But down here you will find my heater. I'm trying to get some more light on it. That's the heater right there. Now that little heater ejects the heat right there. And the controls for it are right here in the carbon monoxide detector. You gotta have that when you run these things. But it vents everything out the bottom. And it's so easy to use and it runs off of this gas tank. Now this was full to here last night. So I ran it all night and see how much it burned. That's diesel. I ran the line through conduit to protect it all the way down. Now my bunk here it's a little messy <laughs> but uh, I'll show you that. But down here are the batteries. Uh, the battery bank for the inverter. And yes I have a TV. So these things are going to be a necessity out here to actually be able to tolerate it. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, you're going to have to have some uh, resemblance home. Now, that's a broom we sweep out with, pallet puller and chains. They keep clothing there, a little table there. Um, that's a smoke detector there. And we basically have stuff hanging here. I have my blind vest, which you're going to have to have safety equipment. But uh, I'm showing you these things because you need to understand that you're going to be out here and you're going to be sitting. And just to give you an idea, last week, my, when I came back out after Thanksgiving, the second week because I was sick, I got a load Monday and a load Friday, and I sat the rest of the time. So we do sit out here. 
sprayed some air freshener in here because I like it to be nice and smelly and smelling good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to have to understand that being out here is not easy. And you're going to have to decide whether or not it's something you really want to do. Now, can you make money? Yes, you can. Can you go broke? Yes, you can. You have to have put away for that. I mean, you got to realize my paycheck after insurance and everything for last week, not including the gas, okay? This is for, you know, Monday through Friday. Well, Monday through Friday, yep. Uh, not including the gas was $415. You take out the gas of about 100 and I made 300 bucks. just so you know. There is something no one likes to talk about. They want to talk about oh, all the great times, but when the bad times come, they're like, hmm, crickets. You guys need to know that not every week is going to be good. So when you have those three and $4,000 weeks, which you will, put some of that money aside because you're going to need it. And uh, I'll talk to you. I'm making my, my bed. <laughs> I don't like a messy van. I got up this morning, got a shower, and didn't make my bed. But all you see underneath here is a basically, it's a piece of plywood, one inch. Uh, our half inch ply on two by fours with eyelet bolts that use these ratchet straps. So I can, I've raised it up this high because most freight will slide under there. And all I have to do is just pick that up a little bit and it slides under there. So it gives you an idea what I live like out here. This little area here, I have a curtain here that shuts it off. So the freight area is back here. But my living quarters are right here. Now, I had three skids in here yesterday. They were turned sideways, and they fit right up against the bunk. So that's why I've made this bed this size. It's because of that reason alone that I will, in fact, like I said, you can just ratchet the bed up. It's a little uneven at the moment, so I'm just going to ratchet it up because I can see that. There we go. Level it up. Yep. Better. But, like I said, you have to understand, out here is not easy. It's not all fun and games. Uh, you got to be careful. We've had truckers die trying to stay warm with those buddy heaters and stuff. Uh, you've got to be careful with this stuff. This is not a lifestyle for everybody. So if you're going to get into this because you, you hear big money, well, guess what? you may want to think of another career you can make money or like i said you know the last week 300 bucks but you're going to spend your day right here this is what my day is going to be like and if nothing happens today i'll be here tomorrow sitting just like this or the next day you have to play the numbers and you have to understand where you're going and why i put myself here because it's a better chance for freight but i had to drive 240 miles it cost me 31 dollars to drive up here from down uh, south of richmond which <laughs> that's a terrible area so what i mean by terrible so you guys understand that is that the chance of getting freight is slim in other words i would say down there <clears throat> i'd have probably <clears throat> excuse me a 10 percent chance of getting a load up here i'm probably going to have 60 so I increased my odds 50% by driving 240 miles. It's after I had an ice load coming in from Independence, Kansas over there, which was 1,219 miles. So that made some money. So you got to understand why you're here, what your lifestyle out here is going to be like. And no one likes to talk about the lifestyle on the road. Well, this is what I'm discussing right now. Lifestyle on the road. Do as much maintenance as you can on your van yourself. I mean, I replaced the wiper blades. And I'm going to post videos of this. I replaced the cabin air filter. If you have a ProMaster van, I'm going to show you where this thing is. I'm going to open the hood and I'm going to show you some things. <coughs> Excuse me, it's only on ProMasters because I don't have transit. I don't know where their stuff is. But on this van, let me open the engine compartment up. <coughs> Here's what it looks like underneath. Your cabin air filter is right there, okay? Now, there's two screws, one there. It's right there. 
There's one right there, too. I don't know what the heck that's from. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> that's the cabin air filter, and here is the air filter. It's right here. It's four screws. Now, these two things, at a dealership, they charge you almost 100 bucks for both of these. To install them. I got the air filter here. On Amazon for $17.95. I got this air filter for $15.95. Go to the dealer and pay $60 or $80 for that when you can buy them for these prices. It's a lot cheaper. The I have this flushed at the dealer. I have the transmission flushed at the dealer. These things I do straight at the dealer. I don't do them. There we go. That was loose. Pop that back on there. Some things I do myself. That's it. The headlights. <clears throat> you pull this screw here out. And you can kind of gingerly pop this thing out, and it has two hooks here. Get them out. Two screws here. Pops that off. And there's some bolts under here, right here and here and up in there. You pop those, this whole thing comes out. You disconnect the connection, turn it upside down, and pull the bulb out. That's a $90 charge at the dealership to place your headlight. It'll take you 10 minutes with a 10 millimeter socket and that's Phillips screw up. You're going to have to learn to do some of this stuff yourself, folks, because if you don't, you're going to be paying out the wazoo. I do my own oil changes. That way I get the right oil. Pins oil. 5W20 only. Just so I like only. I'm very specific on the oil. Only. Once again, get the silver bottle. Only. <laughs> because if you do, I've got 198,000 miles on this van, as you can tell. And I've had no engine problems. You've got to start paying attention to your equipment. Your tires. My tread on these tires are all almost new. I'm going in the wintertime. I want to be able to get through the snow. So, like, like I said, you're going to go into... This is your own business. You've got to save money where you can out here to maximize your profits. But this is what your day is going to be like. Right here. Now, if this doesn't excite you sitting in a parking lot, which is what I'm doing, then maybe this isn't a job for you. And that's what this tape is about. Is this the job for you? Don't go with all the hoopla uh, of, of what you think you're going to make. Go with, it's a lifestyle. Is this something you can handle? If sitting by yourself for long periods of time is something you can't handle, this isn't the job for you. So that's what I'm going to conclude this one on. I'll keep doing some more updates. But you all have a great day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.